Party people and the place to be. Hmm. Okay. Huh. I'm not on screen. Let's see what's going on here. There it is. There we go. All right. Party people and the place to be. Live from 58 Dream Street. We're James with Games. 30th day of our Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny Let's Play. So it's a milestone. Not going to be a particularly long session today. I'm starting much later than I normally would on a Saturday because I had a water shut off in the building all day, which has just been lovely. The cat's yowling for the tap to run. Uh, my own uh, poor planning, leaving uh, me also quite thirsty. But, came back on eventually. We have water again. Let me balance the volume here. Turn that, uh, maybe a little bit lower than that. We're gonna dive in. So, last weekend was very productive. Uh, most notably, we took down the Shadow Lord of Falsehood, Feline. There are two more Shadow Lords, of course. Shadow Lord of Hatred, Astaroth, and the Shadow Lord of Gowardus, Nosfentor. I have half the recipe to defeat them because I know their names. What I don't know yet is where their respective shards are because I'm going to need the Shard of Hatred to kill Astaroth, and I'll need the Shard of Cowardice to kill Nosfentor. I have hints to where the uh, Shard of Cowardice is, and I let me remind myself what that hint is. Yeah, I, I gotta... Right. Yeah, I gotta get to the... Uh, I need to get to Dungeon Hithloth, which is the only one, wouldn't you know, that I don't have the word of power for yet. So that's the... That is my huge knowledge gap. I don't even have a hint about where the Shard of Hatred is, but I have an idea. And I, I wrote a note to myself that I won't show yet of where I think think it's going to turn out to be and it's on the map for dungeon shame and if it turns out to be that well I'll hold the paper up and I'll feel victorious but we'll see how that's going to go so right now this is this isn't border march this is the the other one right far thing and I don't think there was really anything waffle syrup good to see you I don't think there was anything that I was going to discover there in Farthing. Now the the pirates are... Are any of these pirates or are they just ships that I've left abandoned after uh, killing pirates? I guess we'll find out. I think before... Oof, this ship is in rough shape. What about the other... Is that other ship... A, that's a pirate ship. Okay. So what we want is to force these pirates to come fight us instead of sinking us. There we go. Because quite frankly, we are much, much stronger than these pirates. They're better at cannon firing. They should have played to their strengths. We are not uh, accountable here for what happens to them because they're the aggressors. I mean, I did the attack command to start the fight, but it's not like they were just going to leave us be. So, Always a good start to a pirate fight. Julia's taking some hits here. If, nope, if we can get this pirate who's trying to cross the, ah, I was hoping he'd drop a treasure. When you make a, a loot barrier, it's a, it's a good place to be because you reduce the ability of the pirates to come hit you. Some of, the, some of them have ranged attacks, if not all of them, but just not as powerful as their melee attacks. Now, the Avatar can't do anything. The Avatar and Shimino aren't much help in this particular fight because they have much more restricted attack range. So once you create that treasure barrier, you, you've kind of played yourself in that sense. But we're going to take this out, and the very first thing I want to do... Hmm, what is the very first thing I want to do? I think I'm going to... Head up to New Magincia. I've been to New Magincia. I had a great time there because the dialogue with the with the shepherds and shepherdesses. 
of Numagentia was very interesting. But I don't know that I learned anything that important. And so maybe there's something I could learn there. I don't really have a, a start, I don't think, on where I might find the word of power for Dungeon Hithla. British regular regular viewer who's not here today yet, and that's f fair enough. It, it's uh, much later in the day in Germany than it is here. Uh, add into that that I'm starting later than I normally would, and this is not even the scheduled show. I'm not hurt, British, wherever you are. But British has uh, suggested that he thinks I might have actually already seen the trap, uh, seen the the hint, the start of the chain to find Hitlop, but I went looking through my spreadsheet, and if I did find that hint, I either don't understand it, or I didn't write it down. Both of those things seem very possible. So, one, one way to tackle this is to go to places that have been where I haven't learned anything that much. And what, like, the only thing I gathered from New Magentia, besides some really interesting dialogue about the nature of virtue, which is important too, you know, that it's that the, the interest in virtue and, and ethics and morality is a, a foundational part of the distinctive character. British, there you are. Uh, so that was good. But other than that, the only thing I've learned in New Magentia yet is that uh, they there's a fellow named Hassad who is chained up in Blackthorn's dungeons. But I don't know anything about this Hassad, and and I haven't gathered any other information from Magentia. So what I'm thinking is I'll pop by there, I'll talk to folks, see if we can find anything out. Uh, even if I could find out something more about this aside. And then I think, well, British, what I was actually just saying before you arrived was, because uh, I, I, was, I was talking about how I think you said that you think I've actually, I, I've seen a hint and not noted it for the word of power for Dungeon Hithloth. So I was, I was commenting on that and then I said, well, you know, the British isn't here uh, yet, or possibly today, which is fair because it's much later where you are and I'm also starting later than I normally would, because they shut the water off in my building. Uh, and <laughs> great way to start the, uh, the study break. I've, I got through the busiest week of my term, at least the busiest pre-December week of the term, and then woke up and was like, well, I can't take a shower yet, and I can't clean the kitchen. Like, I got, I got a load of dishes done, but this week was not was not a week that generated nearly one load of dishes. Let's let's exploit some gems here. And look at the map. See how I'm lining up. Okay. So there's the Isle of the Avatar. So a little bit north and then west. Head a little further north. But anyway, my spirits are still pretty high because I I'm very glad this week was over. It's like it's the week where my first years have their major report due. And that's like, as far as extremely busy work weeks go. No, no, British, I did not find that hint again. I've, I've, I've got nothing. That's, I'm at square one with Hithloth. Uh, the only extent to which I'm not at square one is that I can look at my spreadsheet and say, well, some of these things I've, uh, oh, this is the, this is not the, this is not the island I'm seeking. Should we camp in a poison swamp here just to get through the night? I think we can stand right here and camp without getting poisoned. So the, the biggest hints that I have to the extent that they're hints about Hithloth is that I can look at my spreadsheet and see where I don't have much information from. And you know, we can, oh, come on rats. You really think this is going to go well for you? I mean, they're, Giant rats are probably not supposed to be the most intelligent creatures, but my goodness. <sighs> yeah, so it's a great busy week in the sense that like, it's busy because I'm helping students and like interacting with them and you know seeing their ideas and 
helping them refine their work and all that good stuff. Uh, but it is extremely busy because there's a lot of them <laughs> and I am one person. So, so that is a, a challenge, but got through it. So that's good. Got it behind me this week coming, uh, as is traditional for the one week of no classes in a term, I will frantically try to do all the things uh, that I need to do for work that I've been saying. I'll do that when the break finally comes. I, I've never got through my I'll do that on the break to-do list during a break, but I'm going to do my best. In the meantime, getting some Ultima in today as usual and of course tomorrow, although tomorrow will be shorter than it normally would be. Uh, for a happy reason, it's my it's my it's my pa's birthday, so uh, not only uh, you know good for my dad, good to see my dad, but more exciting for me to be honest, I'll get to see my nephews because I've seen my father much more recently than I've seen my nephews, and you know, like one of those nephews is like he's, he's a like he's not a newborn anymore, like he's not talking or walking yet, but but he's moving and like looking at things and reacting to them from what I'm told. So that's pretty exciting. Get to know them. Or, st you know, but start off getting to know them. And, and you know, my older nephew is uh, talking and all those things because he's old. Be good to see him as well. All right, let's try this again. Just, just let us rest, swamp rats. Keep an eye out, Jana. Now, you know, Janna is a skilled enough magic axe murderer. Oh, sweet. The best kind of rest. Rest when Lord British shows up and just gives everybody full health. I like the touch that he he, he cures your sleep condition as he gets to you. Like, he's, he's blasting you in the face with his magic. So you're like, ah! You, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm up. Okay, yeah, this is, this is the... Weird little hut of the extremely helpful man who solved for me the mystery of how to slew. Waffle syrup, I don't know. I'm definitely doing at least like three evenings free and the other two evenings suddenly more flexible. Well, Friday's not flexible. I was getting Friday and forgotten circles. But the Monday is more flexible because it's not like this is the last evening I get and I, you know, I need to run all the errands I can. So I'm going to stream something that I don't haven't streamed yet probably something maybe something more uh contemporary but i'm not positive i'm all i also might like who knows i could be streaming like rogue i've been playing rogue lately in my ongoing quest to uh make no effort at all to appeal to the mainstream uh we'll, we'll see there's a bunch of things on the go. And then in non-stream play, I gotta get a, I gotta knock off uh, Metroid Dread, which I bought on launch day and have played for like two hours. It's really good. I'm gonna finish that off. A wise old man, tell me your name, sir. Wartow. Sorry to hear that. Stay here to live up my life. Life? Lived many years. Too many to count. You can't count them? You know anything about spirituality or like a word of power? <laughs> uh, just, just, uh, you know this Assad fellow? All right, it was nice talking to you, uh, Wartow. Probably Wartow's home. Because I'm the Avatar, I'm not gonna steal his rug. Blackthorn's law of humility. Thou shalt humble thyself to thy superiors or thou shalt suffer thy wrath. The when you talk, when, if you go to Blackthorn's castle and you get captured, you find out that he's on the he's on the Avatar quest. He is he is playing his own private Ultima Four, trying to become the Avatar. And I, I don't get what like I can see how he's deluded into thinking it because he's been corrupted by the Shadow Lords. But it must be frustrating for the Shadow Lords because they surely know that he cannot become the Avatar. He is not achieving enlightenment in the virtues. So like they've they've got this patsy and he's just wasting wasting effort doing something irrelevant, right? 
Or maybe that's their whole scheme. Maybe they have a plan for him to... Oh, hey, it's Katrina. Hey, it's... Yeah, it's great to see. Uh, it is, but like... Uh, I mean, sure, but yeah. You're, you're not gonna fit in the team. Yeah. Nah. Okay, uh, how you doing, Katrina? Okay, do you, do you just have to, yeah, no, the party members are not going to, take care, Katrina. Sorry that we can't bring you, but, but, uh, Ultima 5 has not only capped the party size, but introduced non-Avatar companion characters, so, there's no room for you. In Ultima 6, perhaps, we'll get a chance to link back up with Katrina the Shepherdess. Uh, you know this Assad guy? <laughs> you know anything about spirituality? You know any words of power? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Hif- <laughs> You know about Hifla? No. Take care of yourself. I- I- It's quite possible I've exhausted the information to be found here. Bunch of- Okay, I'll leave those uh, farmers or uh, shepherds or whatever- Whatever they're supposed to be alone for the moment. I mean, I guess they're farmers. Don't see any sheep around here. Just a bunch of humble homes, as it should be in the in the town of humility. Could there be clues in the gravestones? I surely there could be. But we've wasted the daylight. Ah, you know what? We don't need daylight to look at the gravestones. Let's take a look. I'm I'm gonna guess these are mostly jokes. Haywood, okay. Slim. Rest in peace, Slim. Did all these people die on... Oh, I see what happened here. It's all the same day. I was like... like I, At first I thought it was different years. I was like, man. Watch out on January 1st in New Majinza. But no, obviously, a particularly horrible thing happened. They all died. Tragic. Okay, no hints there. That I'm aware of. Alright. Uh, let's let's leave, camp it down for the night, and then I'll go back in, find the person who told me about Hassad, and see if I can just like, find out who he is. What does he know? What does he do? Like, I should go help him anyway. Like, just because he's chained in Blackthorn's Dark Dungeon. If I can get there and help him, I ought to do. Ought to do so. But it'd still be helpful to know what's in it for me. <laughs> right? Come on. Okay. Meanwhile, I got a stout-hearted young woman. How can I visualize the stoutness of a person's heart? Who knows? Oh, you share, eh? Fields, eh? Freely, you say. Devoid of freedom, what would virtue be? Yeah, I agree with that, my dear. Yeah. What about the virtue of spirituality? I know you folks are more into humility. You don't know any words of power. You know this sad guy? Take care of yourself. Stout-hearted young lady. If you could, if you could, just let me into the field. I mean, they, they told me that he's chained, and they probably told me who he is, but I only wrote down that he's chained there. So I'm just seeing if I can remind myself before I go find it. Uh... Cool, what's your job, sir? I mean, obviously, yeah. Uh, meaning? No, I'm not a servant to Blackthorn. Laws? Eight? Misguide? Foundations of virtue are of good intent, but one must choose the path of virtue freely. I agree. When deeds of a normally virtuous nature are forced upon thee, they lose that virtue. You must want to do good for others, rather than being forced to do so. Aye. You know, Hassad. Timid, reserved woman. Crops, hey? The work many would starve. Uh, king? Blackthorn. He takes half our harvest and imprisons those with knowledge of the ancients. All right. He's a member of the council. I want to talk to him. Throw a save down. Not that you want to comp. Uh, tried to enter the ship. Can't do that. You got to board the ship. 
board the ship. Then you can enter the, the uh, I suppose at that point you can enter the, what am I trying to say here? Ship's cabin, right? Okay, pretty much straight shot south. I'll pop out a little to the east, just to make sure I'm on target here. But, not gonna be too difficult of a navigation task. I got a, I had a meeting with HR, as long as I'm spitting out some uh, career slash personal information, and uh, turns out that, you know, assuming that they post my job as a career stream position, like they've been telling me they're going to do, and they've even told me at this point that the paperwork is like in process, so it'd be a, it, that's an intense lie if they're lying. And if that does get posted, uh, you know, They've been telling me, like, you'll be a good candidate, and you're very likely to win. And I was like, well, yeah, like, because not only am I really good at my job, in my humble opinion, but I, like, I, I can back that up. I can point to things, both, like, things that I've achieved and built here, and then, like, you know, won Instructor of the Year during the pandemic and all that stuff. But the big one that I thought was just, you know, continuity. Like, if you got a guy who's been doing a good job for seven years... <laughs> kind of weird to be like ah, let's, let's throw at everything he's done and have someone try to build a new thing from scratch and maybe it'll be better so i thought like yeah i i'm the best candidate i'll be okay it's going to be okay deep breaths turns out based on my talk with hr that uh they they actually in a career stream position when they post it the hierarchy of hiring priorities starts at the very top, with the person who's already doing the job on a limited term basis. So, it's not just that I have an advantage, it's that they literally can't not hire me unless they can demonstrate that I should be fired. So, that uh, is reassuring. That was good news to hear. I also found out some frustrating things that might be fruitful in the future. They've been paying me less than they should be. But I'm not bringing that up until I have a... Uh, job security <laughs> don't uh no. don't tempt fate okay can we, ugh, come on gentlemen just work with us here <sighs> come on I'm trying to I'm trying to infiltrate this castle boom okay so to get to the dungeons what if we just fell through this trapdoor it worked. Alright. We're in the room where Blackthorn would murder Shimino if I were to get caught here. Is this facade? Oh, of course it's locked. But, like every non magical door in the world. Uh, yeah, I'll escape with you, buddy. Oh, uh, I mean, like. Yes. The dead of night, secret door, you're behind him. Climb the roof. Black bedroom. Out the door, etc. Got all that down? Yes, I do. Somewhere here. Get the key. Alright. Wait. Ah. No, sorry, dude. I hope that's not Hassad. And he's just like a plot, like I have to... Well, I mean, if it is Sasad, that's okay, I can deal with that. I will just have to go and, uh... Oh, here's the door. I'll have to go free up some space in the party if I'm going to save him, if that's Sasad. But it might not be. There's more dungeon to explore. So why don't we take a look around and see what we can find. My goodness. The security system here is based on the knowledge that uh, <laughs> one size fits all single use skeleton keys are just a mass market product in Britannia. So if you can't if you can't trust your locks, just try to exhaust their supply. Oh my goodness. With an endless is this literally endless? Have I walked... Nope. Okay, great. This was really starting to... 
Excuse me, sir. Okay, this guard doesn't care. Okay. We're gonna slip around him. Oh no, there's a second hint, British? Because I'm totally missing a second hint. Well, you know what? It's a security system of attrition, Waffle Syrup. <laughs> if I was... Uh, it, di it didn't plan on someone who almost always has a supply of 99 skeleton keys. But, okay, for now we're just, we're just gonna look for now, and if I don't find anything, I'll accept that there's probably another hint I gotta find, and I'll go seeking it. Uh, I'll, I'll call, I will keep that in my pocket, British. Not just yet. Let me, let me try to bumble through this. And if I can't, an old and blind wizard. Who's there? What is thy name? Well, some people call me the avatar of all virtue, uh, but you can call me James. Uh, what's that one? Well, who are you? Okay, boom. Aside, we found him. Uh, what do you do? I mean, besides being a prisoner, you're a council member, I hear? I'm a prisoner, just as thou art now. Prison? Taken from your home in New Magentia. Home? Yeah. Peace until the Shadow Lords. Shadow Lords? You have knowledge? Blackthorn? That's for me to know. Knowledge? Really, Hassad? We, we can't work something out here? I'm the only hope of stopping Blackthorn? And you wanna, you wanna be a gatekeeper of knowledge? Is it a word of power? I know of the Great Council, but what maketh thee ask me? Uh, it, it, it's because you're on the council. I'm asking you, okay. So you're on the council, you know nothing about it. Who sent me? Hold on, that's, yeah, you're right, British. Let me just, I, I do have that information. Uh, Okay, okay. Let's try this again. Alright. You know, a council, what maketh you at? Kaiko. She's a fine woman. She has told thee of me. She must have great faith in thee. Well, yes, I spent several minutes talking to her one day. So, <laughs> why wouldn't she? I presume thou dost seek the word of power for the dungeon Hithloth. Yes. Are we where I may speak freely? Yeah, there's no one here. Alright. Well, <laughs> I called this episode The Quest to Access Dungeon Hithloth Begins. And here we are, 34 minutes in, and the quest is over. Boom! Alright. Little transliterating. How much of this can I do? I mean, I. Uh, N. N A V something S. Not enough of it. <laughs> I gotta look at the script. <laughs> gotta bust out the old the old uh, old reliable here. All right, scrolling down. Oh, what? Oh, I somehow got this into. I don't know what I did. It's in two-page format now. I, that, that doesn't matter. I can just still scroll down and find the thing. Here we are. Okay. No, wait. It's all. It must have always been in two-page format. I just somehow didn't notice before. Okay. So I, but an X is a G. Ig. Ignav. Ignavus. Let me double check my my police work here. Ignavus. All right. Okay. It is all coming together. 
He's nervous. Thank you, Hassad. Uh, thanks. Farewell. Uh, yes, it, that is a little odd. Like, who told you that I know of this council? Or like, why do you, th yeah, but anyway. It's all, it all worked out. Hassad is such a humble guy that I found him in the prison. I, I, he helped me out. And then he's just like, all right, take it easy. <laughs> he doesn't need to get out. Ooh, should we be, should we be tempting for, I mean, whatever. If, if it all goes wrong, I have to load a save. It, it doesn't take away my own personal knowledge of the word. So, what is it? What is it? Inex poor? I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's Inex poor. Boom, boom, boom. Inex poor. Magic unlock. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what's in here. Inex poor. Ta da! Oh, of course. Cast Inex poor. To the right. Yeah, like we could have, I don't know, like gathered some hay from an empty cell for him so he was a better bed. Like we could have done something besides just being like, thanks pal, <laughs> I'll tell Kaiko you said hi. I'm not gonna tell Kaiko that, she'll be like, you, you talk to him? Why didn't you save him? You're supposed to be the avatar. Oh wow, we found the empty room. Thanks to our great magical power. All right, let's escape. Uh oh. Hmm, okay, that's all right. There are many paths we can take. We will find our way out. Okay, there's the side. Just let him chill. <laughs> take it easy in there. Because there are ladders up all over the place. Okay. Now, can we get out? What's the situation? Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're relying on the uh, incredible uh, ineptness of the guards here, but we're gonna find a way. Or will we? Perhaps it's not going to be quite so easy. Right. What's the layout here? Oh, the layout always looks the same, right? The view gem always just shows you this one kind of bird's eye view. Okay. Making our way somewhere. Way down. Ah, oh, but it's just the same thing on the other side. I should... Oh. Here's a fellow. What's your name, pal? Ah, uh, your name. Now he's gonna tell me I'm in danger. Oops, sorry. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, there you go. You're welcome, pal. Okay, now you're killing me, though. Just wanna leave. Just wanna get out of here. Okay. Let's see. Will he eventually just... Yeah, we can bully this guy. Ah, he can't step across chains. All right, buddy. Other people want to use the ladder here, pal. Are you kidding me? All right, what if we pass a whole bunch? Just step into the hall, man. Just, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why even risk a trap door? Well, we've made it back to the basement. Okay, that's okay because 
somewhere I wrote down the way out. Or did I? Yes. Yeah, it didn't look like there were, which is, is definitely strange. Yeah. They they came by, they, they discovered his cell was unlocked, they they relocked it. Whoops, climb. No, we're not Jimmy and eating. Escape. Yeah. Climb. Here we go. It's a long and complicated route out. You gotta get up to the roof. At least we're trapdoor proof. With our handy magic carpet. It's not just for outside. Keep a torch lit. What am I doing here? Okay. Okay, we're on the roof. Up on the roof, sneak down the northern ladder. That's how we're gonna get back. So that's gonna leave us. It wouldn't be very Avatar-like to just murder Blackthorn in his sleep right now, but. Okay, I'm gonna uh, take the take the standard escape route. Oops, unlocked. Okay. In Blackthorn's bedroom, go down a secret door, down the ladder on the other side. Then, a secret room to the north. Down another ladder, and out the back gates. There's a flaw in this plan. Are these dudes gonna move? <laughs> there they go. Okay. No. no busting out through the stables unless there's a secret door right here. No? Okay. It's alright. It's alright. See me when I'm on a magic carpet? Okay. Well, fine. Fine. We're not sacrificing Shimino to permadeath. We'll just restart. A successful delve, nonetheless. You know, I had a good feeling about Hassad, generally. But it, uh, it's good, that, like, when I went back to New Magincia and was reminded that he's on the Great Council, that was the point where I realized, aha! Yeah, Waffle Syrup, it's not, like, this is not Metal Gear, right? Like, it, it's not a refined stealthing system. It seems the guards are only programmed to catch you in that hallway. So I was safe as long as I was in the door, in the, in the room to the side. All right, well. They can't take our knowledge from us. And what do you know? We're right next to the Isle of the Avatar. I guess I should see what the status of all my mixtures and... All right, we're, we're well stocked for reagents. What's the food situation? We're well fed. And the mixtures... Oh, we don't have any money. Any money. Any money. Manny. Money. Money's what I've been saying. I should prioritize consistency here. Yep, 
Yeah, I have rings of invisibility and I should just test them out. Is that the thing, British? Can I just put on a ring and just walk through the place and nobody cares? Or is there like a spell? Okay. No? Okay. I'm intrigued to know what the secret is. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know. I'll give it some more thought. Maybe I can figure it out and we can just do a messing around in Blackthorn's castle just because he's a jerk raid at some point before this all comes to an end. But right now, let's head up to Honesty Island, as uh, I don't think the locals call it that. But it's Honesty Island to me. No cowardice, no dishonesty. Ah, it can't be dishonesty. Dishonesty is over now. But, how uh, it was not over is the fact that shops close at night. So let's get out of here, camp it down, wander in the woods, let it get nice and late. Yeah, I suppose, like at this point, I got the crown, I got the, I got the word. I haven't heard another thing. Uh, I, it's, uh, uh, I, I won't say it, but I think I did just, I did just glean something. Uh, from your comment there, which I, I mean, I suspect, okay, I'll just say what it is, which is that part of me had thought like, is the Shadow Lord's Earthly Fortress just the same one place where Blackthorn is? Uh, but I, I kind of figured that probably wasn't the case, but now I feel very confident it's not. It also occurred to me that there's no real reason why the, why the Shadow Lord's Earthly Fortress has to be above ground they could very well be in the underworld i don't know but that'll be a task because one of three crown jewels one of the three regalia astaroth all right fine we're going killing tear it up jana two down all right two down that's one Getting, getting over my skis. Yeah. I'll have to take a look. Because there, there might be, like, yeah. It's quite possible. And I do have a, a big record of everything I've ever heard that seemed important. So it's quite possible that I've I've even got it written down. I just haven't taken care of it yet. It would not be the first time. How you doing, John? Ah, well, she's she's creeping along. How's the avatar doing? Also creeping along. Well, I mean, we're gonna be in Dungeon Hithloth soon. There will be stuff to kill. My goodness. The sea life situation gets out of hand real quick. I've been continuing to mess around with the bard's tail, uh, which, let me assure you, uh, is not going to displace Ultima from my heart. It's it's cool. Like it's got some interesting things about it. Now, John just handled that whole one herself. But, oh, come on, my crown. All right, that's fine. There. If all they've done is gate in a demon, I can live with that. Let's kill us some dragons, team. Yeah, and so one thing that is very odd about the Bard's Tale is that it's a, you know, it's like a mid-80s dungeon crawler, like first-person RPG, but even though, like, your movement is grid space by grid space and all that, and, like, the combat is turn-based, when you're on the map, it's real time. So, and, like, this is the kind of game that until I discovered that, because I was, I was 
been messing around with both the original and the remaster. And I discovered the remaster actually has an auto map. But until I discovered that, I was trying to graph paper map these dungeons. And... But when you're just standing still, you can get randomly attacked. It's very strange. At the same time, you know, if you have like a regenerative healing spell, well, that works too as time passes. So there are, there are good parts and bad parts. All right, this, this dragon's going down. Eventually. Oh my goodness, that dragon has been critical. All right. It escaped after all that. Oh goodness, and we're getting ELO killed because we're not paying attention. And of course, I do realize when I say we, <laughs> There's only one person implicated here. Alright, we didn't mix any money anyway. So, ELO's got to run for his life. Anyway, yeah, like, Bard's Tale seems kind of neat, uh, but it, it's got nothing on, on Ultima, at least for me. Because this game is first-person dungeon crawling. And that's the only thing that Bard's Tale has. Uh, oh, Shimino's gonna get killed. Start running, buddy. wounded who knows avatar is in real bad shape though you know who i blame for all of this astaroth all right there goes the avatar it's okay it's okay we have a lot of money we can save the avatar there at least we uh, got revenge. Demon is only lightly wounded, my goodness. Heavily. Heavily. Come on, let's make it critical. Critical dead. Victory, sure. Uh, pretty Pyrrhic as far as victories go. Oh, and then we're poisoned. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I, have a, I have a student this semester who's, whose standard email sign-off is keep smiling. I thought, I th every time I see it, I think like, yep, that's, that's, that's a, Probably an attitude that a, a engineering student will benefit from from carrying with them during this term. Okay, we have the extremely expensive apothecary, but is there a healer in the Lyceum? I don't think there is. Ah, whatever. Okay, Sam's not going to come through for us here. Let's get out of here. Yep. Yeah. Virtue of sacrifice, British. The Avatar died so that Sh uh, Shimino, Ilo may live, and Shimino. We're looking out for the team. Ha! Stupid headless. All right, <laughs> let's get 
camp. Uh, Gweno, not practicing the virtue of sacrifice, got through that bloodbath without a scratch on her. I don't know about this Gweno. Okay. <laughs> the headless just there all night. We should probably be magic carpeting to make sure they don't catch us. We don't want to be fighting in our current condition. But alright, heading down to Moonglow, go meet some friends of mine. Los Ventor! Alright. Well, that's a sign. It's a sign that we should hop a carpet and fly across the ocean. Oops. Hit the rough seas, that's unfortunate. Here we go, here we go. Heading north. Gotta hug the coasts if you're traveling by magic carpet. It's just not a deep sea vehicle. Or even uh, an open sea vehicle why we can use it inside because it's a low to the ground magic carpet it would totally change the you know the famous uh, sequence from from Disney's Aladdin <laughs> if, if it followed the magic carpet rules of Ultima I can show you the streets and that and that's it nothing else I'm sorry just the same streets that I showed you in that earlier sequence in the same film. Except now we're sitting on a rug. Okay, I'm just gonna go in a, okay, come on. Yeah, okay, great. I just wanted to be sure that the carpet is automatically restored to your inventory if you go to rest when you were upon it. And not that, uh, not not the much worse alternative of the, the item like being deleted or you have to break. I mean, I, it wouldn't be hard anymore to break into British's room again. It's another mystery I'm gonna have to work on. We have the box. We've got the the sandalwood box with us, but what do we do to open it? We'll figure it out in time. Uh, yeah. I could use a ton of solace. 200, I wonder, how, how did they settle on 237 gold? as the precise figure. That it costs to, to resurrect someone. Not 250. Not 220. Not even 235. It's 237. And like, the healers around the world agree. It's not like reagents. Where, where different merchants try different strategies in different regions, you know, based on, you know they, know, they know the supply and demand and the customer base and all that. As long as I'm uh, talking about how I find the bard's tale to not be nearly as good as, as Ultima. Oh yeah, yeah. The healers will be doing the resurrections for free, but but Blackthorn requires them to charge a two hundred thirty-seven dollar tax. That that's a pretty good, you know, kayfabe explanation. With the one exception, uh, the the one problem being that, uh, like in Ultima Four, it also costs money to get people revived. Here we are. I believe that they're going to be closed. But maybe not. Wait. Okay. Okay. Of course. Why? Why was I worried that the thing would disappear when I am constantly yeah, miss my shot? You know what? Yes, I'm. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, 
Oh, definitely. Like, let, in fact, let's take a look. One part of the co like, if we're looking at the, the economic basis of the resurrect cost, I mean, the, the mixture requires, check this out, garlic, ginseng, uh, spider silk, sulfurous ash, blood moss, and mandrake root. So just to begin with, that's a huge component cost per mixture. Then you add in, you need a level 8 mage uh, to cast that. So we're talking about, you know, this is, this is not even like going to the doctor. This is like going to, uh, going to like... I'll, I'll name a specific doctor, Dr. Ivar Mendez, who is who is a neurosurgeon, but is also a robot uh, roboticist and a an acclaimed uh, artist in two forms of art. He's a sculptor, a, a sculptor who's had like you know, real gallery showings of his sculpture work, and a photographer who's published books of uh, of photography. Y you need the upper level, upper tier. Uh, medical care give me eight of these packs 484 packs of rations it's one of the great challenges of the avatar and his companions to fold and, and like get everything stored properly thank goodness that Moonglow doesn't have restrictive gates in the same way so yeah, I mean it totally makes sense that, that resurrection costs a lot Certainly do not object to that. And it doesn't cost that much at this point where I have 3,400 gold, but I'm also not really looking to buy gear right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice quiet day in Moonglow. Uh, yes, I need those esoteric reagents. Give me some garlic, give me some garlic, just, just, just holding the poach open, you're saying. I'll say when, uh, you know, just go. Oh, that was ginseng. Now give me some garlic. Excellent. Some spider silk. I came to spend, buddy. I'll take some nightshade and some mandrake, even though I don't have any plans to use them right now. Just because I'm rolling, rolling big. Okay. Very nice. Now. Let's be responsible. And let's mix the spells that we know we need to mix. Now, let's do 20 mining. Couldn't hurt. Uh, probably don't need as much hand knock because I had some. But take more than zero. Take 15, in fact. <laughs> so we have so friggin' much. Uh, I, have, I, I could use more Vasmani, which in fact, do, does Vasmani add Mandrake root? It does. So there, there's a reason for me to buy all of that uh, Mandrake there. Uh, let's do five. That's all very good. Okay, what else could we want? I mean, we can mix it while we're there if we need to. Has like the NX pour supply, pretty good. Only have one us pour, but don't need a ton of us pour. Okay, okay, all right. This is it. It's time. Although hopefully it'll be nighttime before we're actually entering, so we can camp down one more time. Maybe Lord British will come because we are not in uh, perfect prime fighting form at the moment. Sailing around the Isle of the Avatar. I believe this is where what we're looking for. No, I'm wrong. A bit further south. No. You know what? Just, just look at the... Use the view gem. You know you have it. Yeah, further south. Yeah, the, the Book of Lore gets really in depth about the about the components. Like, uh, in a 
No, let me out in my, thank you, in my skiff. Here we go. This is it. Uh, can we camp here at this point and, and gain the benefit of rest? Or do we, is this like, like you're a kid on Christmas and you're like, I'll go to bed at seven so the Christmas comes, Christmas morning comes sooner and you're just laying there wide awake. All right. I'll take it. We're not in perfect health, but we're alive. We're well stocked. Food, uh, I mean food in the dungeon. With reagents, with all that stuff. Ignavus. Say it loud. Boom. And uh, as, as suspected, uh, for, for a couple of reasons. One that when I went to the mine of shame, everybody said, ah, your first mine. Well, there's gotta be another one. But then also just like, if there's a third like tile set for the dungeons, of course there's going to be another instance of it. Uh, that's just good programming asset economy. Or not programming, art asset economy. Here we are. This is it. In fact, Gotta turn a new page. Nice blank template to paint upon. Canvas to paint upon. Hith. Loth. Fire it up. And huh. Right off the bat. Well, hold on. What if there's a... No hidden doors, unless, let's push. Nope, all right, we'll, we'll go down. Hmm. Well. Okay. I'm not surprised to see this on level three. Now, my gut tells me but it's not ultimately going to be as simple as Hithloth is just a shaft with ladders. <laughs> but we'll see. Now, here we are. Now the magic begins. All right. Pop out a view gem and get to work. Level five. First one I mapped. So what do I need here? I need one blank space and then it's gonna go one, two, and then three, and then two more on the other side, because we like to keep things symmetrical here in Britannia. Notch out on both sides. And then after the notch out, it's one, two, three, four, five, six down. And the other side, we'll just match. Notch it in. Notch it in. Thank you, Waffle Syrup. You, you, the life you save, uh, it will not be your own in this particular case, but it very well could be ELO's, or the Avatar's, or Shimino's. Because I'm not even gonna try to pretend like I was totally planning to put the crown on in just a moment. No, I was going to put the crown on right after a will, uh, a freaking wisp possessed one of us. <laughs> oh, fine. We'll kill Gweno because she's possessed. But the rest of us are getting out of here. One ladder that goes up and down. A room. And at the other end, looks like a ladder just up. So. Let's put on the crown. Just slip it on over the helmet. Let's see what's in this room. The skull on the door would suggest that it's gonna be a bad scene. And this is indeed, this is not great. Uh, so what's, huh, what's the gimmick here? Because like, these are like ship's masks. So I mean, they're like support pillars uh, in this case. Are the dragons able to shoot over them? Don't think they can. Do 
Keeping an eye on my health bars, but... Obviously, there's something here that will open this. A floor tile, a secret button to push in the wall. I'm not even going to think about that right now. This is working in my favor. I said this before that a buddy of mine, Koodles, who sh shows up in the chat now and then, uh, said that one of the things he loved about uh, the first uh, Dragon Age Origins was that he figured out a way to like with area of effect spells that he could win. He, he's like, I hardly ever had to fight a battle because I would just kill them from the other room before I went in. I thought like, that, that doesn't sound fun at all. But if it makes him happy, I don't know. The Dragon Age games are not my thing. I like the second one, which I know nobody does. I just thought it was cool that it's all about a city. I love cities. I'm an urbanist. This is going to be very fruitful for the cause of uh, getting the avatar to level six. Barely wounded. Lightly. He's pinned in by his treasure hoard and his friends. And this one's critical now. Now, of course, if I kill him and he turns into a treasure that blocks any of the dragons from getting to my current location, there's a risk that I'll be forced to move in a way that exposes us to the dragons by triggering the falling of these masts. But if I'm able to kill two dragons and we only have to deal with three, well, I mean, it's not that great, really, because dragons are really, really tough, as we just learned. Uh, a few minutes ago. Right. I, as we just saw, I think I think we all knew that the dragons were tough even before one uh, killed the avatar and sent us all packing. All right. Not packing. We did win that kill. Okay. Okay. Try to go around to the right and hope that the whole thing doesn't just open up. Okay. It's probably a push button in the walls and not a floor switch, which is fine by me. Lightly, 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 heavily. I saw heavily in there. Oh, right. Wait, I just learned this gimmick last weekend. Just hold the A button. All right. The A button, the A key. There. You can't stand anywhere where I can't hit you. What are you going to do? You're going to die. There's no other possible outcome. Now you're penned in. I already had you almost dead. Now you're dead. Boom. Victory. Very nice. Go around looking for buttons in the walls. Hmm. Got a button next to you, Jana. No such luck. How will you, Bueno? None there. None there. I mean, there might be just 
might just be able to push the uh, thingings themselves. We'll find it. Okay. Avatar. Oh, there. Okay. No, can't look. There. Push the push the stone or the the cross, and we're in. Very good. And now, no trap. But there's actually a complex trap. There. Save Shimino some some bad news. Whew. Look at this horde. Spike Helm, Sling, Regeneration Ring, Two-Handed Axe, Spike Collar, Short Sword, Quarrels, Dagger Quarrels, 90 gold, a key, two gems, two torches, two food. Not too shabby. Are you sure that there's no trap? Yeah, Shimino, come on. This is dragon treasure, buddy. Really think these things didn't think ahead and trapped their treasure chests? There. Found it on the first go. Boom. It's all coming together. Getting all these things. Scroll of Inan. Pfft. Why would I ever need to cast Negate Magic? And I've got my trusty crown and then no trap on the official treasure of the room. A small shield, a short sword, arrows, 51 gold, a black potion, a scroll of Ann Tim. Still potentially useful. Two keys, a torch, a couple of foods. All right, so the question becomes, do I think there might be anything secret in these two largely uh, empty looking side hallways? And there might be, but I would rather take the route of known knowns. I know there's a way up over here. I'd love to find out what's going on with that. So let's check it out. Go. And we're out. Torch is gone. Ah, it's another up down one at the south. The southern edge. So, what happens if we go up here? We get this kind of place. If we go up again, same deal, but then level two is going to be a place. So, map this out. Uh, this this is looking big. So I'll start at the bottom. All right. So. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four there. No, that's five. Okay. That comes around the avatar here. One, two, over. One, two. And this one's gonna come over so that we're gonna be narrow enough for a single hallway there. And then we're going up. It's gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Do the other side symmetrically, and then one higher, and then another higher so we can go over by one, two, three, four, and right in the middle there it's going to go up further off, off gem, or beyond the limits of a gem. This is a vast floor in the mine of Hithla. Go over three, and then one, two, three, four down. And then one, two, three, four, over. A lot of strikes going on in the United States right now. That's a, I'm not gonna get into a huge labor politics discussion here, but, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a lot going on in the, uh, Labor movement there. Okay, and then you can only go down from there. So let's find it. Let's find out what's going on here. That's. Alright, take a look at our gem. Aha! So then, from there, 
and then one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, and there's a ladder up to the first floor, but presumably a version of the first floor we can explore. So let's do that first. Raid right into a room. Uh, oh, poor, poor Reapers. Oof. Avatar takes a big hit from Big Shammy Sham. Who doesn't even have the... I don't... I put a halberd on him, didn't I? He can't even use the... No, it's still a Morningstar. Okay. I was going to say, you can't use the excuse that you're swinging a ball on, chain, on a chain that is naturally going to be inaccurate when you're actually using a halberd. But I guess I haven't hooked him up with a halberd. Should I hook him up with a halberd? We'll make that decision after this... Uh, Extremely straightforward fight. In a way, it's not sporting to just beat up a helpless enemy that can't even move uh, to defend itself or attack you in any way. But on the other hand, I've played all the way through Ultima 4 where these enemies were infuriating the Reapers. And so I am entirely at peace with picking on them and being unfair. Plate mail, scale mail, more plate mail, halberd. Short sword, a short sword, a ring of invisibility, a spear, arrows, crossbow, 34 gold, scroll of vast lore, great light, a key, two gems, torch, a couple of food. Oh, and then there's there's our path back down. But I suppose we should uh, we should see what's going on outside of the room here on the on the first level. Let's head out to the north and see what's going on. Hmm. There's a not very well concealed secret door. Alright. What are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven over, one, two, three, four, five, six down. And then over here as well, one, two, three, four down. And then I ought to fill in the interior walls. Looks like every possible route out of that room would have also just got me here. Going over one, two, three four and then down two from there and then over one two from there and then down one two from there ba -boom. Boom. we're uh we're dealing with a non-symmetrical dungeon make the shading light here so i can indicate the uh, presence of a secret door That's that, and then one thing here in the middle. Put a down arrow on that room, so I remember that's the way out. We're set, let's do this. A secret door, how about that? Behind the secret door, a door. And in that door, a room full of demons. Well, this isn't going to be an easy fight. It's going to be easier than it would be if we weren't very responsibly wearing the crown.
Got one of them heavily wounded already, which is nice. One of them barely wounded. Not as nice. Ooh, this one's critical. Let's see if the avatar can claim the kill. Nah, just a grazing shot. A glancing blow. That kill was for, I don't know, whoever's got it. Shana, throw a money at your boy, Shimino. It's nice that uh, two of these demons are just chilling. I guess they're over there like, why isn't my gate spell working? Possess! Possess! What's going on? They're very confused. Uh, but that's really just, uh, why are our friends just doing a regular one-on-one, -on -one, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand, I should say, fight here? There's no advantage in that. They should be using their magic like we're trying to and failing. You know what I might do for a bonus stream? I could, uh, I could get that Switch Online expansion pack that everybody's enraged about because it is, uh, it is surprisingly expensive while still not actually being all that expensive. Uh, play all the Genesis games on a big stream like that. Maybe. That's a thought. I don't know. Nah. I think I probably want to do something more, something novel. And something more contemporary for a change. Or a game. Just, just play Rogue. See how far I can make it. The deepest I've ever made it in Rogue was like level 20. So I've never even got my hands on the amulet of, of Yendor, let alone tried to escape the dungeons of Doom. I have played Darkest Dungeon Waffle Syrup. I am a big fan of Darkest Dungeon, in fact. I never did any of the expansions. So there's also that as a, as a thing I could do. And I know that I don't know like what the state of Darkest Dungeon 2 is in early access. So I don't really want to... I would rather wait until they're, like, you know, our game is done. As opposed to, to playing it as it comes together. Wounded. He's critical. He's running. He, that door far at the other end of the room is his only hope. And it's not going to work out for him. Can we get out? Yep. We're getting into just another fight. We are, but it's a fight. Oh no. It's not a fight that we can just easily win. We gotta, we gotta bail for a moment, because the Avatar could easily be killed. Uh, I assume, Waffle Syrup, that you've played Darkest Dungeon, but have you, uh, have you checked out the Early Access? Darkest Dungeon 2. Let's just do some money for Elo. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, that the kind of like the the core, like like a uh, fighting 
sounds similar. I think. I think that's what I heard. But that otherwise, it's, it is quite a bit, quite a bit different. Okay. Now this time, we're gonna march right on through. We're gonna kill those guards through the door. We're gonna laugh at those wisps. Wisps go from <laughs> demons become very difficult fights instead of impossible fights. Yeah, that's what I heard. I I will say that I found that the optimal strategy in Darkest Dungeon did not... Oof, Eula just got hit hard. Uh, the optimal strategy in Darkest Dungeon did not involve treating the characters as disposable, but in fact depended on working really hard to uh, keep them alive and keep them sane. Whoa! That's a cool trap. I mean, it's just skeletons though. So I'm not all that impressed. But Eel is getting the shit beat out of him. What a world. Who, who could imagine such a thing as Eela? Being the one who's taking it on the chin. Alright, let's kill the skeletons. <laughs> yeah. Boom. A lot of blood in those bones. For some reason. Okay, got our skeleton situation. Yes, I, that's absolutely... It, it's time consuming if you get your characters killed when you're, you know, Hoping to use them. I did find the end game as a result when I had done everything but the darkest dungeon in the base game. Got a little frustrating just because... Uh, just because I, you know, figure out the party I wanted, and then I had to get them all developed sufficiently that we could even make make the attempt. Hilo, heal thyself, and then you make the attempt, and if if the attempt fails, they're dead. Just do the whole freaking thing again. Guards are remarkably tough. I suppose that that there's one guard entity. One party for the whole run. That's interesting. Is it is it multi-run based though? Like you you get wiped out and then you try again from the same base game? Like is there a meta that you're building up across these runs? It makes sense to me here that the uh the guards are so tough because I guess uh, there's probably only one guard like stat box and they don't want you at the start of the game just murder all the uh, murder all the guards so that they don't tax you. Interesting. I figured that would have to be the case just because there were so many character classes in uh, in the original, and you generally expect that like a sequel is going to add some new ones. So if the entire time you're only ever going to play with four, it'd be kind of be odd. There, victory! Oh, I'm here saying gonna have to beat all these wisps, but they'll be easy. But those aren't wisps; <laughs> those are gems. Which is great. Oh, I've played Slay of the Spire. Dude, 
the, that's kind of like your pretty pretty uh, typical contemporary roguelike isn't like roguelike such a weird term for a genre because it describes nowadays we use it to describe games that kind of use the gameplay loop of rogue uh, but then also aug augment it with things that you earn over time that make it easier and, and or that change it around make it different one gold that guard was not doing well for himself five gold Okay, Shimino, just just uh, take a minute here and push on literally everything. Hmm. Well, search everything then. Probably not going to find anything of note, but... Yeah, this was a long detour to get to a room where we can uh, earn like 10 gold and treasure. All right, yeah, it is what it is. Oh wait, no, we haven't done, we haven't pushed on everything outside. Johnny, you do the bottom here. Huh? Okay, it is what it is. Have you played much Slay the Spire, Waffle Zero? And if you have, who's your favorite character? Here we are, light it up, and I guess we head back. from the first floor and the second floor and now we can go check out the other ladder down southeast I guess I'll call this I'll put a B next to it Just so I know it's the alternate one and then oh okay well oh, there's a secret door but all right it's pretty easy Five by three little corridor. Straightforward stuff. Uh, with a ladder going back up, which I'm standing on. And a ladder going down, which I can see right ahead of me. And with a secret door. Right there in the, in the hoozy. So, all right, this is third floor B, and I've mapped it. Defect is a lot of fun. Not surprised to hear it. Future engineer being into the defect. I think, uh, I mean, I like them all. It, like, it took me a while to warm up to the ironclad because I just, I, I like weird stuff and like, you know, the, but, but the watcher is my favorite easily. And, and part of that is just because, yeah, I had a, I had a build recently on a run I was doing where Oh, okay. Here we go. It's a whole other thing. In fact, I haven't. I, I've now. I think I've failed to leave myself sufficient space. But that'll be. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Because it does look like it's just an empty hallway that I failed to map there. The result of my foolishness. All right, of my optimism. No, not optimism. I just didn't know. I, I did not guess that this place was going to be so full. Yeah, I did a run with the Watcher where by the end, I can't remember exactly what I was using to accomplish it, but I was spending like three, like multiple turns consecutively in Divinity. Just absolutely like... I can't even remember what the lap, what the final boss was, because once I found out that the heart 
isn't even required to advance a, an ascension level. I was like, you know what? I hate the heart. It's not fun. It ruins it. it quite frankly, like it ruins the game. Because if you're planning on the heart, you, you know, like all the flexibility and builds is done. You can't, you can't experiment. You just have to hope that you get exactly what you need for a good uh, versus the heart build. So, but it was, you know, one of the, I think, I think it was Dekka and Donu was the last boss I wound up with there. And I just, it was a slaughter. I killed them and just, it took like a few rounds. Once I, once I got to the first divinity stance, I was able to just keep cycling them and just absolutely crush them. It was nice. Cast in X poor unlocked We're in all right it's an easy win in the sense of you know you're gonna beat them so what it turns out to be all about is not getting poisoned that's the moral victory we did not get poisoned there is a trap no Shmino is just psyching himself out we got a key to replace some of the keys we wasted Shimino being paranoid or traps. Oh, fair enough. You know, he's been hit by a lot of traps in this day. Two-handed hammer. Uh, oh, you can't look here. Nothing of note. No, brutal. Uh, I hadn't really thought of what a brutal general comment that is. Yeah, but it just, it just sucks. Like, generally, I like, I, 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 I vastly prefer. Uh, Slay the Spire to the very clearly Slay the Spire inspired Monster Train. Monster Train's also a good game. It's just got nothing on Slay the Spire, in my heart at least. But what it does have is a a true final boss that is just, uh, that provides a significant challenge, but doesn't uh, basically just disable a range of, of possible builds. And here we are, just a uh, avatar, do it all. We are getting the avatar leveled up eventually. Perhaps not today. All right, this is it. Oh, and there's a ladder down in here. So we'll check that out. This is a winding dungeon. All right, the hold the A trick. I don't know if it's really a trick, but it's the technique that I ought to be using. Boom, another one down. And we're done here. All right, Chimino, get to work, buddy. No trap, no trap, are you sure? Yeah, now you're poisoned. It's just like, like I've had runs where like, I was, Killing it, and I was having a ton of fun because whatever I was doing was cool. And there we go. And like beat the like the real like the, the third floor boss successfully. And then just like ugh, three turns in. Like the only way I could have hand like there was no way to stand up to the heart here unless the cards just shuffled in the in the perfect way and they didn't. So I just it's over. It's just, I don't know. It's just not, uh, it's not the kind of challenge that's fun to me. And I really respect that they've, you know, they just, they made their game, they balanced it, uh, except for again, the heart, but th they did all that and they said, cool, this is done. We finished the game that we're making, and we're we're not gonna like no updates, uh, no expansions. Although then sometimes I'm just like, ah, uh, I just wish there were some new bosses for me to fight. Okay, and if we go down, we wind up in level four, which looks like this. Okay.
This is a twisty winding dungeon. Although, like, the path I was originally on, I didn't follow all the way to the end. And perhaps there's a straightforward path. Probably not. By the mere fact that you need to brave Blackthorn's dungeon to get this word of power, I'm inclined to say this is intended as a late game dungeon. We have a different ladder up. Yeah, this, I got a feeling this is going to be a two-pager. Same level as the thing. And then we want to go one, two, three, four over. Very excited for... Friday Night Forgotten Circles this week when Lauren uh, joins us as the Valrith Sun Keeper. I, I made her a little uh, ability card frame today with her name on it. That was exciting. And then on top of that, we have a another Gloomhavener uh, going to join us at some point and uh, she, Danielle, is going to play the Beast Tyrant which means when we go back to that that, that scenario where you're stuck in the middle of the war with the two bosses uh, and, and the goal is to well, you can choose but we really want to do the one where we take them all on and get all the treasure Uh, we can use the, the Beast Tyrant trick, because the Beast Tyrant has an ability to just uh, flip the fl uh, tr teleport two figures to their to each other's spots, swap their positions. So we're just going to put the two bosses on the back lines of the other armies and just watch them get killed. Pretty uh, excited for that. Can't claim credit for the idea. So is it our... Uh, Friday Night, Frosty, uh, Friday Night Forgotten Circles is biggest fan. Burner account. Uh, used it in his own campaign and was kind enough to tell us about it. I don't believe that there's no trap. Check that out. Also, there, there's something else here. I bet there's wisps. Lars! Good to see you, buddy. Things are going great. Oh, man. I don't know when you were last here, but I'll update you on the big things here. Uh, uh, Felony, Shadow Lord of Falsehood, dead. So that was a big one. Uh, I'm wearing the crown, as you can see. So I've got one of three of, of Lord British's regalia. I am currently in, in Dungeon Hithloth because today I got the final word of power that I was missing. Igna Ig Ignavis. So we're, we're in Hithloth, which is where I have the clue to find, I think, the, sh uh, the Shard of Cowardice. So things aren't looking good for Nosfentor. Okay, this is just not trapped. Uh, it was a waste of many keys, but that's okay. Meanwhile, there are, there are still enemies here. There's bats in the walls. I have to figure out how to open these secret walls. Yeah, it's really coming together. Ah! Gremlins! Alright. You're not on point anymore, Shimino. We're all in the fight now. Gotta protect- well, we have so much food. I'm not super concerned. That the gremlins are going to steal all our food and starve us. But. Yeah, so I'm trying to think like the the big question mark for me right now is I don't have I haven't received any hints about the location of the Shard of Hatred. I have an idea of my own. 
Uh, that I'm not saying out loud. Yet. I wrote it down. So when I find out if I was right or not, I will hold my prediction up to the, to the screen and let the audience judge. But, yeah. It's going really well. Uh, very exciting stuff. Having a lot of fun. Big fan of this game. That's a... That's a... There's something in that sandalwood box. Waffle syrup. And... Oh, I'll admit it. That's my theory. Because... Uh, I just... I just... I, I don't know what other magical item I could be looking for. That... That is critical to Lord British's return. That I don't already have a hint... A different hint for it that tells me that it's probably not going to turn out to be there. Nah, that one was trapped. Which means I was just uh, having the slippy fingers. That's okay. Okay. Sure there's no trap? No, there is a trap. Now, we don't know what to... Oh, I did say that out loud? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I I have a feeling that it will be in the sandalwood box. Something's in there. I got the box. Don't know how to open it yet. You know what I haven't even done, though? I haven't even just tried to use the use command on the box. I should probably try that. Uh, in fact, <laughs> let's do that uh, as soon as we, we wrap up this room here. Yeah, these, these crafty gremlins trapping it all. Alright. Grab the thingy dings. Now let's have somebody. Gweno. Help Shimino out there. And while you're at it, I know Gweno, she doesn't want to do this, but throw some money to your man. And there we go. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. Let's leave. And then when we're outside. Outside. In the hallway again. Light up the torch. Okay, what happened? Is, is the box just an item that I can use? Yes. How? Okay. So there is still a mystery of how to open the, the sandalwood box. But I really do have a good feeling that when we do open the sandalwood box, uh, we are going to discover the Shard of Hatred. If we don't, well, I mean, we'll be discovering something. I'll be happy about that too. I'm easy to please. Viewing. Is this just... Is this not just the level three I was already on? It is. Okay, good. That's good to know. So. Ah, yes. Okay, so. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Go back down. No, and that's another up. Another way to climb up. Have I exhausted this whole side branch that I've been on? Do I need to go back? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Okay. And then from level two here, we'll just... A gazer. Yeah, that gazer knows to flee. So magic's no good here, pal. Okay, we descend, we descend. This is level five, where we started from. Let's descend. Hmm. Well. 
you not usually gonna be a hidden door that the view gem can't detect. Let's go back up. Go through this room, which will be a little clumsy. I think one of the coolest things, one thing that like, I mean there's, I could, I don't know if it's one of the coolest things. I could go on and on about this game, there's a lot of cool things about it. But, but one thing that, to this game's credit, like, I haven't looked at a guide. Uh, the, the, I think the most explicit hint that British has given me was today when he was just like, who, t you know, when he prompted me to say Kaiko's name to Hassad. And, I, I, not that there hasn't been some other gentle hinting from British that I'm very grateful for. But largely, just, you know, I, I had a very guide-assisted run through Ultima 4 that prepared me for this. But other than that, I'm not a big, you know, old-school RPG fan. I'm not an, I'm not an open-world guy. Uh, I have not had that much experience with text parser games at all. And yet, I uh, I don't think there's ever been a time that I sat down to play and couldn't, and was like, I guess we'll wander aimlessly because I don't know what to do. There have been times when I was like, you know what? Instead of doing another dungeon delve, let's wander aimlessly right now. But there's always been something ahead of me. Yeah, that one was, was not a... Uh, that was not great uh, phrasing as far as them wanting me to get that hint. There was similar, we had a similar problem in Gloomhaven last night uh, in Forgotten Circles. I didn't have the problem, like I read it right even though the text was weird, but then we found out that Burner Camp, when he had played the same scenario, had penalized himself when he was supposed to be rewarding himself because the text, when it tells you like, if you fulfill these conditions, then you can uh, deduct the, the you know, you, you can reduce the target that you're trying to hit. It says that you must, and the word must makes it sound like the bad thing, right? If, you, if, if these conditions are filled, then you must. So he was taking what was supposed to be a bonus and turning it into a penalty for himself. And similarly, uh, the language here did not really suggest a uh, who. <laughs> Trying to find out if there's a secret door here because we've we've made our way down to the eighth level, but there's there's nothing but a path back up. Now, of course, there are probably multiple opportunities that I didn't check of straight ahead just climb the shaft have I already have I done a full loop of the room I think I have I will I will close the loop at 12 because I'm almost I, I, I did 12 o'clock before okay okay let's get out of here no 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 it's, yes one at a time team Okay, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that didn't take long. I didn't even have to rotate 90 degrees. So what's the story here? Uh, looks like a bunch of ladders up and down in a weird little place. All right, seventh floor is Ed. This might not turn out to be a two pager of a dungeon after all. Uh, another shout out to this game is that because I've been playing the Bird's Tale and the very first dungeon is like it's just a wine cellar that leads into the sewers and then you have to like the sewers will lead you across town so that you can get behind a gate to go to the next dungeon. Like it's just a dungeon crawl. There's, there's nothing else to do except find the next dungeon. But but here 
like areas are small and compact a lot of these dungeons are like the ones that are more explicitly worked like the the mine of shame is way more mine like i think than the mine of hiploth here and the like the prison they're laid out in a way that tries to make some sense of it and they're nice and compact Whereas these sewers are just enormous, they make no sense. Like, why, why is the sewer like this? The architecture of this sewer is incoherent. And then, and it has arcade style wraparounds. Like at some parts in the map, you get all the way to the north boundary and now you're at the south of the map. And like, it's a, like, it's a game about a town under siege from a wizard. So like, okay, fine. You could just say, wizard did it, but yeah, I don't know. Whereas this game, because it's not focused on dungeon crawling, keeps the dungeon crawling more focused. Go figure. Mm -hmm. let's, let's translate, or transliterate. It's already written in, in English for whatever reason. Okay. Because, yeah, the, the M looking thing is an M. But, yeah, M O. Mo. Mother. 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 La. It's the. Mother load. Okay, mother load. Maze. It's the mother load maze. Okay. The mother load maze. Interesting. Are we in a maze now? Things are about to get thornier. Let me go review for a moment the hint that I have for where. There's a, there's a whole bunch of details that it involved teleporting magic. Upon the Isle of Avatar, there lies a dungeon. At the bottom lies a small, cavernous room of the underworld. Many more such chambers near enough to be reached by one with the proper magic. Now, I, I do think that the shard... It sounds like it's going to require me to get outside. So let me just... Let's try, first of all, before anything else, going down. So this is the south west. Right. So I'll call that triangle and I'll call the other one square. Let's see where triangle down takes me. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm not going to draw this just yet. Let's check out the room at the east. Ah, you know what? What's the state of everybody's magic points? That could be better, but okay. Gweno. Throw money to Jana. She doesn't need a lot. And, and that was a, a smashing money. Very nice. Okay, what's in here? Just a bunch of stuff. It's the mother load. It's not very mazy, but it's the mother load. You know what? It just occurs to me that... Ah, oh, okay. Wisps. Get out of here, you stupid wisps. Gargoyles. I can even see that gargoyle. Whew. See, gargoyles are like slimes and that they, they split off. But then they're not like slimes in the sense that they're actually very tough. There's nothing, okay, okay. Well, we're off to a good start, but let's do as much damage as we can the cheap way before we try to actually meet these, the remaining gargoyles on the field of battle. Oh, come on, step forward. What do you got to lose? Okay. Of course it's locked. Unlock it. Open the door. 
somewhere in here it's going to trigger something to open. Kalzenkor? No? Yes? Uh, yes. Kalzenkor. I will eventually get around to summoning at least one demon. But today is not that day. I'm not ready. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course it's going to divide. Oh, the avatar should not be doing this alone. Oops. Okay. Chameleon's got to step forward. There's a there's an old arcade game, not that old, but like a 90s arcade game that they had, they used to, the, the athletic center in my community, the Cole Harbor place, they used to, look at these things, horrible things. At least some of them are heavily wounded. And in the in the summer, they would turn the the hot, the skating rink just into an arcade, which is cool. Uh, and so one of the games they had there, this could get oh god, this why did we engage? This was not what we should have done. Okay. Well. Okay, there's one dead. Now I feel confident again. Let's make more. There's two dead. Eventually, there'll just be no space for a new one. Yeah, I really ought to start investing in some combat magic. I feel like all the good sounding combat spells are at level six and above. So I'm not quite there yet. Oh Lord, all right. Doesn't matter. Look, Julia is just one press to the left from escaping, so we can't get party wiped here no matter what happens. I mean, we could, but I don't think it's likely. John is in a rough, rough shape. So let's heal thyself, girl. Alright. There, another one dead. So yeah, this game that I'm thinking of, uh, it was kind of like uh, like Dragon's Lair, in the sense that like it's just a game about like watching a cutscene and then quickly trying to hit the exact like guess and and hit the inputs it expects you to to clear the scene. But its gimmick was that it was hologram based. So instead of like a cabinet with a screen, it was like a dome and you looked in and you and like scene is there. And it was like about a time traveling cowboy or some weird shit like that. And anyway, this is all a lot of build up to say that there was one scene where like the scene plays out and now you're going to be attacked and you have to spin around and, and shoot behind you. So like right fire. And you got to really quickly at the exact moment it tells you to. And it's very easy to, when you're trying to do that, and you're a kid and you're clumsy with the joystick stuff, you hit the fire button and then the turn button, and now you failed. And when you, whenever you did that, the, the enemy voice that, that's mocking you would go, turn around before you shoot. And that phrase is intermittently stuck in my head for 30 years now. I don't know if we're gonna get Janna out of here. Or yellow, for that matter. Huh? Another one dead. You never know. <sighs> Splits in the only space available. Alright, Jana's down. Jana, we hardly knew you. So... Think we can win this still? I mean, it's a Pyrrhic victory. 
But I think we can do it. We're gonna try. There's no sense in not trying, right? Just gotta... I'd really like to get this one next to Julia dead, since she, uh, her leaving the room is our insurance system here. So that we don't... Because the Avatar might be over that... Probably not over the experience threshold, but he could be. Do not want to waste that level up. And like, certainly have done too much to, to save Scum at this point. First time I've seen gargoyles anywhere other than uh, Blackthorn's castle outside of his uh, home. And I guess like the friendly gargoyles that let us in to the uh, to see the Codex of Wisdom. That one's critical. Yeah, it's odd, right? Like, I guess the idea is they're constructs, you knock a block off of them, and then it forms up into a gargoyle. It was not what I was expecting when I was challenged by gargoyles the first time that I fought them. Yeah. Another strong sign that this is you know, end game dungeon. Uh, let's uh, let's keep the team alive. Oh no, the Avatar is all really badly beaten. Avatar, heal thyself. Still choose to believe that we're getting out of this one. We could do with a lot less grazing team. Oh hey, Shimino killed one that he wasn't aiming at. Big clumsy Shimino. Uh, Julia, see what you can do for Elo there. Hey, that was a good one. 20 hit points, not bad. That gargoyle was a person. No, that's just revealing Janna's body. We're sorry, Janna. Uh, I mean, I have a resurrect scroll. Is this the time to use it? Probably not, but maybe I will. But okay, they have no room to divide. Critical. Critical, okay, We're down to three. Not, uh, I'm not expecting to be to get that treasure and think this was worth it. But who knows? If we get a resurrect scroll, I'll resurrect Janna and I'll say it was worth it. Uh, Shimino, get up there on those rocks. Stay in the fight, buddy. This one's critical too. And that one is. Yeah, it's all over but the crying. Whew. Okay, the Avatar hasn't crossed the threshold yet, but he's awful close. So that's very nice. Oh, tell me that Janna didn't cross the threshold. Nope, not even close. Good. Normally I would, I would prefer her to be close to the threshold, but today, no thank you. Okay, let's... No, I said, sorry, cast. Oh, can't even cast Vasmani in a room, I don't think. So, Avatar, heal thyself once more, just in case we're dealing with acid traps here. No trap? And it's not trapped. So what do we get? A gouge, a spike collar. I, you know what? Well, magic bow. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but... Inan, gems, torches... Okay. No trap. Sword and short sword, quarrels, scale, mail, short sword, dagger, coif, uh, collar, enon, gem. Now I'm confident. I'm just recklessly opening the treasure chest without checking them. I did not find a scroll there. 
There is a scroll in here, come on. Oh. Chest inside a chest. 9 gold on top of 45 gold. Call that 54 gold. Stop time. It's not nothing. Might not have hurt to stop a little time during this particular fight. I don't think there's going to be anything else going on here, but... Can't be too safe. So, Alright, can't be too sure. So, touch the thing. Now let's get the team out of here. Jana, we hardly knew ye. Alright. What's the name of the Resurrect Scroll in Mani Core? Is what it is, and yet I'm still looking it up. Just a, yeah, in Mani Core. Just a quirk of mine. Let's do it. I never use the high value items. Ever, in any game. Like, as many people I'm sure do. Oh, and in fact, geez, we have four. We're doing it. And we're back. All right, let's give her a money because we're gonna just, just try to camp. But if we get attacked by like bats or something, I don't want Jana getting killed by a bat. Talked a good game about this being a shorter episode, but then it got too exciting right at the start. So here I am. I guess either I'll probably stop at six Atlantic. Uh, Unless my my expected company arrives sooner, in which case uh, it'd probably be a jerk move to just be just kind of just just wait in the other room. I'm I'm, I'm really into this right now. Just, just hang tight. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's that's because she's not getting beaten up as much as the rest of us, and yeah. It. it uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, Gwen, she, you know, her and ELO's quirks aside, uh, she brings a lot to the team, and we are grateful. All right, okay. Should not tempt the fates, but going in there unprepared. So, what's the Vasmani situation? My goodness, loaded with gems. Because they're just all around on the ground. Okay, only four. Although I can also mix more. But let's have... Okay, Jana. Uh, do one for Elo And do one for yourself. And then we'll just hit... Well, oops. Oh, well. Let's... Uh, <laughs> the wonder is gone. When you've... The, you're, you're so accustomed to up oh, road of money that couldn't hurt to mix more of uh, We'll just do ten more right now gotta restock on spider silk when we get out of here Throw the avatar one more If we if we have to fight a bunch of gargoyles, I'll stop time and we'll we'll go to town on them Because I do believe let me double check how stocked am I for ant? I mean, really stocked. I know I'm really stocked. Eleven. All right, here we go. Hmm. Well, it's not nearly as bad of a situation as the previous room. It's not great, but let's get to work, team. This, uh, okay, that one serpent was thriving in critical condition, but is now dead. Now the squids are less, less powerful, but there, there we go. Avatar poisoned. Uh, not super important, uh, because oddly generous thing about the game is, is how it allows you to, um, to just be poisoned during a battle with no adverse effects. The the, the poison doesn't start really uh, raining on your parade. Oof. 
The avatar has taken it on the chin. You can have the you can have poison coursing through your veins while in the heat of battle. Just, eh, whatever. And then the minute the, the fight's over, I guess the your adrenaline goes down and the poison takes its place. Whoops. Hey, uh, did another one just get killed? That's great. Friendly fire. Get that squid out of there before more of us get poisoned. At any rate, the fact that we have found Hithloth and have made significant progress in it, even if I stop right now, which I'm not doing, uh, like. There's a real good chance, if not tomorrow, that we're killing Nosfentor, the Shadow Lord of Cowardice, uh, next weekend. That's too damn a good place to be. the Shadow Lords themselves uh, embody in their own personalities not necessarily in the game but like if we were just imagining the lore of the world like is Nosfentor the cowardly Shadow Lord or does he just or it I guess I shouldn't I don't know Shadow Lord be a Shadow Lady um Victory! Alright. Julia, get to work with Ann Knox. Jana, you step up with one for good old Shimino. And then the Avatar will whoops, get these gems and then let's uh, let's do some pushing on stuff. Cause somewhere there has to be a way out of the eighth floor. I don't think it's here. Okay. Get out of there. Throw a save down. This is a different ladder, but does it just take us to the same? No, I don't think it did. It's a different level seven. My goodness. I should have mapped that. Oh well. Okay, maybe this will be it. All right, I'm, I'm going back and forth on whether this thing's gonna wind up taking up. Uh, more than one page. Secret doors, oh my. Okay, start from the bottom, maybe I'll have room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five. Okay, so then we got the box shape. I guess that's the easy part. But, yeah. There's the ladder down. There's a ladder up. We got a room right in front of us. We got rooms up here in the corners. Secret doors galore. Well, two. Got a pair of secret doors. Not so secret.
Hilo, throw money to both of our big strong boys. All right. If we're looking north, there's the. Let's see what's in this room. Um. I don't feel great about this room that seems to be encouraging me to kill a bunch of children. <laughs> like, probably, like, the fact that they're all alive at the bottom of a dungeon means they're, they're probably, like, devil children or something, but I don't feel great about it. Let's just, uh, let's leave. Battle is lost. You know what? <laughs> lost the battle, saved our souls. All right, let's check these other. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Well, this is easy enough. Avatar, get to work. If you can pull this off without getting poisoned, you're the man. Done. Okay, very nice. No trap, no trap. Sack of gold. Nothing of note near the well. We push the well, nothing happens. Okay. Nothing of note, just a dead body. It seems notable in and of itself. Okay, it's the well, all right. Neat. All right, light up a torch. That was the west one. Check it off. Another spider well. The, yeah, the, the rooms where a wave of giant spiders come crawling out of a well to devour you are, are actually less troubling than just the, the, the room full of pens of children. <laughs> like that's the real horror. Empty. No trap. Tiny amounts of gold. Pushing here, okay. That did something. But to what end? Oh, well, that's bad. I'll hit the torch, wait, no, you're supposed to shoot torches. I'm not sure that that actually means it must be a ranged weapon, but. Couldn't hurt to check. Bueno, try these other ones. Well, you made your bed, Avatar. We're not wearing the crown, my goodness. Hey, Alistair Pinsky! It's been a big day! I'm in Dungeon Hithloth right now, because I kicked it off by finding that last word of power. Uh, I guess nothing else really happened except exploring Hithloth. I've I've created this situation where the avatar is is uh, penned in by lava. Okay, but and can I use the magic carpet in, in a dungeon room? Not here. Well, James hit hit by what? It's just standing near the lava hurting me because of the heat. All right. What doesn't kill you make it stronger. Uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, the, the word of power for Hithloth is our real big advancement. I guess good news is that the Avatar 
is ready for a visit from our favorite apparition. Uh, I'll be going on up to level six. How's everybody else doing? Not nearly so well. We've been, yeah, John is doing well. John is a stone cold killer. It doesn't matter if everyone has a magic axe or the four back liners. All of magic axes. What could lie beyond this hidden door? Oh yeah, yeah, right. Approaching level 7. I keep saying I'm getting to level 6. I'm excited for level 7, because what do I get here? I like the sound of this poison wind. I don't know how much I'll use it, but I do like the idea of, say... Like, I, I had to fight a whole bunch of gargoyles. If I could have just wafted a poison wind on them, that would have helped. It would have been nice. Uh, kill sounds promising, as does invisible. So some good magic. It's another staircase up. What's going on? Okay. Alright, ladder up, sorry. So we've, we, yeah, we're dealing with a real, uh, this is a trick. Oh, there's a path down. Very good. Okay. Let me just, uh, draw this in. And then up here, there was also, I'll simplify it, but just make a note for myself. There's a ladder up on that other end. And here we go. Let's go down. Let's see if this will get us any closer to leaving this place. Check into the view gem. Okay. This is a very simple eighth floor. Just cause for hope, I gotta think. One, two, three, four, five, six wide by three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And all we got is the ladder back up and a room. Let's find it. What could it be? We're out of here. Ah, assuming we're not all killed by demons right now because we, we did not... Uh, heal up for a demon fight. Oops, Shimino should have stepped forward. Come on, team. No, they're not even trying. Just throw your axes at the demon. Yeah, I'm not that scared of demons anymore. I think dragons and gargoyles are the, are the remaining intimidating things to me. Dragons are uh, very tough, even without their magic. Whereas demons are just pretty tough without their magic. Gargoyles are like if slimes were, were a tough enemy, <laughs> which is a serious thing. We got Janna killed. But that led me, that was a big step for me. I actually used a resurrect scroll instead of just ending the game with every resurrect scroll I ever found still in my inventory. As is a uh, tradition <laughs> for me. Yeah, just, just bit the bullet through caution to the wind. The first time I played Dark Souls, I got to the end of the game and like I hadn't used a single boss soul, and I had like all the higher level soul items. I just I had them, and like all those items do are give you souls, which are like experience points slash money. So there's no reason to save them. Uh, then my buddy Robert, who has a much more cavalier attitude about these things, was watching me play Dark Souls 2, and he said, uh, like I looked at my inventory, he asked me what those items were. I was like, oh, they, they do this stuff, but like, I never use them because I'm never sure when. And he's like, use them all right now. Like, the items are there to be used. And, and I was like, Ugh. Then I started doing it. And yes, it turns out that was a much smarter way. Yes, that's true, Waffle Syrup. But I wasn't doing that either. 
Yeah, wisps. Not nothing there. By the laws of symmetry, we can figure out what this one's hiding. It's dead now. The fight is not over. Oh, wisps. You used to be such a problem. Some of them look really cool. Waffle syrup. I can't remember if you need a boss soul to make a... To make Smaug's hammer, but that it doesn't have to be a great weapon to be very fun to use. Ah, uh, here's company. Hello! We still got a minute or two. Probably not 20 minutes. <laughs> Probably won't go all the way to six. Alright. Morning Star, Crossbow, Halberd. Yeah, this dungeon without the crown. Uh, Stepinski, I'm not at all surprised to hear that. Because holy moly. Like, we're on the downslope. Like, there's more to come, but there's not that much more to come. And... And we're not at level 7 yet. And of course, uh, level 8 requires you to get again all the experience that it that took to get you level seven. Oh, good a rel poor that's serious level eight of the of a really hard dungeon treasure magic missile scroll finally i can do one to eight damage well here we are team yeah and like what's the appeal of grinding in this game there's so much going on in Ultima that has nothing to do with just running through random battles again and again. I haven't grant I've done no grinding. And that's the way I like it. We're in the underworld. Light up a torch. So now there's some gimmick that's gonna get us to the Shard of Cowardice, which could be Sounds like from the hint that it's here. Uh, hello! I'll be down in a minute here. Oh, yeah. We want to take the lay of the land before we shut down. So let's uh, let's rest. Set a watch. We'll let Gweno sleep. Yellow will be a good husband. He'll uh, stay up jamming all night, half the night. Swinging his sword the other half. Elo, if you could not stand over us while you stumble around in the dark swinging your sword, just, just, you know, as a safety precaution. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now. Let's put the crown on. I think I've got some vast money, so I don't know why I didn't use it. I don't have a good answer uh, for the follow-up question, Stempinski, but I'm actually pretty sure I have vast money. And even if I don't, I know I've got a bunch of Mandrake and at least a little bit of, of uh, Silk and, and Ginseng, so I have no excuse for for doing it the old-fashioned way. Because, yeah, yeah, the, the, the decisions I made here made no sense. I used some of those vast money uh, already, Waffle Syrup, but okay. I'll be wiser with my mixtures tomorrow. But let's, uh, okay. Okay. Let's review. Okay. Upon the Isle of the Avatar, there lies a dungeon, yeah. At the bottom lies a small cavernous room of the underworld. There are many more such chambers near enough to be reached by one with the proper magic. We'll figure that out in a moment, but I, I think I know what that means. The Shard of Cowardice lies at the location which upon the surface would be recorded as... And they, they give coordinates in Britannia with letters. L apostrophe A, L apostrophe I. So, let's look at the book of, of spells. Because there's a spell... What's it called? Locate. In Wiz. 
takes nothing but nightshade. We've got nightshade if we don't have... If we don't have... Because I think in Wiz is the spell that'll tell me my coordinates even though I'm in the underworld and therefore can't uh, use the sextant. Do we have any in Wiz? We don't. But all it takes is nightshade. Let's mix some up. Find out. Nightshade. It's expensive though. So let's uh let's be cautious here. I'm gonna mix up six. A little earthquake. I don't think that was related to the mixing. Let's save again. And let's uh let's use one. I'm gonna stand directly below the dungeon. So if I get coordinates, I have a, I have a start. Although I, I don't understand the coordinate system enough that I could just be like, well, that was L, this, L, that, so if I go left, 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 left. So I am probably going to have to spam that spell a little. But let's give this a shot. Uh, Avatar will do it. Okay. We are at... Uh, we're currently at... K... Not the thing that looks like a K, but the it's not a K, right? That, it's P. Uh, yeah, the thing that looks like a K is a P. So we're currently at P B. The thing that looks like a B is a B, and. Oh, P. It does seem like this would be far away from L. But okay, all right. Now let's look at a view gen. What's the situation? I mean, we're we're kind of boxed in here. Hmm. 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 All right. Okay. Not gonna spend too much time on this today, but let's uh let's just check out the limits of where we are. I'm glad someone knows Stempinski. Yeah, of course. It's going to be mountains everywhere, so... <sighs> Looking at the spell book one more time. Because uh, Blink is in poor. So is in poor going to do it here? I've had no luck at all with in poor lately. Well, let's try. Let's try. Let's see what happens. Okay. Do we have impours mixed? We do. We have a bunch. So, and also, we're. We, I don't have to save again. I can. I can waste them all right now. That actually worked. Just a good sign. So now, let's pop a gem. We're zip. We've, we've teleported. Lousy bats. Leave us alone. Okay. Let's throw it in whiz. Oops. In whiz. And now we're at P-I-O-A. So assuming alphabetical order is how the coordinates line up, uh, we have to keep going northwest here. I ought to be using my carpet. Alright. Pop open a gem. So, if there are many more such chambers and you're reaching them with the magic, that's a pretty strong sign. 
We want to take this to the north. Now what's the situation? We're in another place. There's one to the left. And remind myself, I'm going, I'm trying to get to L-A-L-I. Unless, to my horror, I find out that I transliterated wrong, like, several months ago when I got that hint. But we'll, we'll cry those tears when the time comes. O and N. So we'd want to keep going west and north. So look at that gem again. Well, there's a place to the west. Can we blink to it? Blinky. Alright. Now it's the lay of the land. There's another jaunt to the west that we could take. Where are we? N and M. So west and north still. And our only real option is west. As far as teleporting in a straight line. No, that failed. What if I'm standing here though? MP too low. Oops, wasted. Uh, do I still have some? And we can start this whole journey over again tomorrow? Yeah, we still have plenty. So, Jana, you take over. Okay, that worked. We're in a big open space. We're probably gonna need to go north too, but let's find out what's our westness situation. O and C? Did going west take us... Are these not working the way that I think they do? But I'm expecting them to? I suppose the smart move... It's too late for that. Would, would have been... So it's O and on the other end... K. Okay, K. We only need to get from K to L. Okay, okay. Smart move would have been to mess around with the sextant up on the surface where it's free to check your coordinates and, and learn how the coordinate system works, but it's not how I roll. Okay. Yeah, that might that step one tomorrow might be just jaunting back up to the surface and stocking up on reagents and coming on back. We are finding that shard tomorrow. It's gonna happen. I have proclaimed it, it's gonna happen. Okay. So we could go west or we could go south from here. Where are we now though? Now we're at O, C, and B. What the hell is that thing? J. Okay. Well, obviously J means I've overshot, but it goes latitude and then longitude, so. South? Was there a south? Is there a place I could go to the south? There was. None mixed. Okay, well whatever. We're being wasteful here. Because we're experimenting. When these are out, we, we, we say, all right, this was fun, and we turn it off without saving again. And we come back to this tomorrow. But where are we now? We're still at J, and we're still at O. Alright. Lousy bats. But we can get east from here. Joke's on you, bats.
So now we're back to P, but we are at K for, for one of them here. All right, if I look at this. It just feels like this passage would be the thing. Uh, let's not fight the corpsers. We can live with the shame of fleeing this battle for expediency's sake. Is there any, is there even any south? There's no in poor left. Okay, okay. Last thing we're going to do, which I really should have already started doing, but we'll do it right now. If I stand here and Julia Casts in whiz. Now we're at P E K I. P E K I. Now let's go all the way to the east without going north or south. Still P-E. So the, the left one, as it turns out, is our longitude, or it's our latitude. Yeah, okay, latitude. And in going to the east, I wound up at L K, which is actually awfully close to where we want to be. In fact, wait, what am I talking about? K. That's L. I think it looks like a P is a. What have I done? What is the thing that looks like a P? Why can I not see it? Oh, it's H. L H. And we're trying to get to L I. And we're at L H. L I. Okay. So some amount of north south here gets the job done. Uh, and it's north. Can we actually pull this off right now? I don't think we can. Okay. This was good. Feeling it out. And tomorrow, here's the dream. Tomorrow we find the Shard of Cowardice. That's project one. And then we return to the surface. Yes, I will not save, but thank you, officer. Then we return to the surface and we kill Nosfentor, the Shadow Lord of Cowardice. That's the, that's the goal. That's the mission for tomorrow. And then, that's two or three. Shadow Lord's dead. We'll have one out of three regalia. But also, you know what? Okay. I should remind myself, what was the hint about... I've seen the amulet which Lord British once bore. It lies forgotten in the underworld amongst the graves of valiant warriors. Only this can they find... Okay. Because... If I'm recalling correctly, and I'll double check the lore, I believe the Lord British's expedition that went horribly wrong also went through Hithloth. I'll double check that. But if that's true, then we're also somehow or other in the pardon me, vicinity of of pardon me, one of the regalia. Don't? Okay, I will reread the lore books and remind myself by tomorrow because we'll we'll think about that. Because like all I gotta do is remember which dungeon they went in, and then I've got to start on that. 
And then the only... Then it's all just, how do I get this damn box open? Yeah. <sighs> We're gonna save Britannia, folks. Not tomorrow. Oh, that's a good hint, Stimpinski. Thank you. I will verify. Uh, I'll review the lore. Okay. But we are... Uh, yeah. We're going to bring an end to the reign of Blackthorn. Not tomorrow, but, but pretty soon. It's not, there's, there's not going to be an episode 60 of this Let's Play. Uh, we are more than halfway. I don't, I might not even be in episode 50. Who knows? But... Thanks for joining me, all of you. Anyone who's just there quietly, who's come and gone, whatever. I don't care. I'm glad you came. Uh, especially glad, though, to the three of you. Hang on in the chat. Keep me company. Uh, I would be loving this game on its own, but it's, it's even more fun with the company. So, until next time our paths cross, take care of yourselves and be kind to everyone you meet.